in this video, we're gonna actually drive the van. Drive the rig, is this a van? I don't know, micro <laughs> RV. But if it was a snake, it would bite you. The bed is above you. Get out! Oh, <laughs> I love it! In this video, we're gonna actually drive the van. Drive the rig, is this a van? I don't know, micro <laughs> RV. Um, Roy from Wingham is gonna help us today. So I'm actually gonna drive the rig. I'm gonna share with you the experience, the drive feel of the Fiat, the Ram ProMaster was actually coming on the um, US bound Wingham OAC 540s. But just give you a sense of how this feels versus an actual van that I drive. Mm -hmm. And that's what this is, uh, video is all about. So we're gonna go to Starbucks, get a coffee. We're gonna put some fuel in it, this is diesel and we're gonna talk about RV systems as we go. So it's gonna be a busy video. Thanks for coming along. Roy, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. Awesome. So I'm driving the rig and I gotta tell you, it feels like a ProMaster. It feels like, uh, it, I'd say it feels a little heavier and it's diesel, so it doesn't accelerate like gasoline which is kind of a diesel thing. Um, I'd say the seating position is a little higher, maybe it's just the seat adjustments, but um, overall it feels very familiar. Love the line of sight. Um, love the height from which you see things. That's kind of a ProMaster thing also, I think. Um, what I keep looking at is the uh, rear view mirror because in my van I can see what is going on out the back window. This one there is no back window, so you're really, are relying on the um, on the mirrors so I tell people often to get good at driving with your side mirrors because that's kind of the deal now the brand new Pro, uh, Ram ProMaster I think has a uh, camera view here yeah this one doesn't so and while we do this what we do is ask Roy a few questions on the RV systems um, so there's propane yeah there's the cassette toilet there's fresh water mm -hmm. um, the induction cooktop um, so maybe just uh, how many gallons of fresh water this is a uh, test. you have 26 and a half fresh 18 and a half. 18 and a half gray and of course the five gallon cassette system cassette system mm -hmm. and on the gray um, is it kind of a traditional tank that sits under the vehicle and so, then you empty it how so it's work? gonna have a spigot right by the um, gas um, door under the vehicle obviously okay. but both that tank and the freshwater tank are insulated, so. And they're insulated, but not heated? Yeah, here, everything, they're everything they're is winterized. Yeah. Okay. For those um, who are wondering if it needs to be winterized. And on the fresh water, the inlet is on the so outside on of the van, On the left right? side, yes. On the left side, okay. Yeah, this definitely accelerates like a diesel, <laughs> which is, to say, slow, out of the gate. Uh, I would say it's, If you've driven a cutaway chassis that has kind of a fiberglass body on it, like a Leisure Travel Vans or a Regent CRV, which uh, we have too, I, I can feel that width weight. It's not obtrusive, it's just noticeable that it's a little wider and the weights distribute more differently um, than, than an actual van, which is just a steel body with four wheels under it. Uh, it and the idea. It's a little thick. It's a little thick. <laughs> it's a, Good way to say it. Any yeah. idea the um, the vehicle weight when it's loaded? When it's loaded, so when it's when we had it at the park, um, it was sixty six hundred. Pay uh, GVW would you have eighty nine hundred, okay. and payloads around twenty nine twenty eight, so two thousand nine hundred twenty eight pounds. So to put that in perspective, my loaded Travato van is eight thousand six hundred pounds. So this actually weighs less. Yeah, I mean that's because of the fiberglass. Fiberglass. Mm -hmm. uh, so pretty interesting. Uh, so we're trying to. It, it steers like a ProMaster, it, mm -hmm. it's shifting like a ProMaster, so I'm pretty impressed. Hey, pardon the interruption. Just wanted to let you know if you're really interested in the Wingham OAC 540 imported to the United States from Italy, you're on the right channel. Why? We've had exclusive access to this rig, the only YouTube channel in the United States to report out on this specific content for the Wingham OAC. Have you seen the video about my first impressions? 
impressions the morning after. We did a video on the pull down bed. We did a video on the great room that actually converts into yet another bed. We did a video on the chef's galley and we did a video on the bathroom. Pretty stunning bathroom for a rig of this size. This video is all about the park and drive experience. Go to my website, go small, live large, click on tours and you'll see the Wingham page right there. You don't want to miss a single video about the Wingham OAC if you are shopping for a camper van but find they're really too small, but a class B plus or C class RV is really too big. You want a motorhome experience and the footprint of a van, OAC should be on your list. Let's see, let's add uh, propane. So the propane on board, um, any idea how many gallons? It's a 220 pound propane tank. So they're the long skinny ones and they're both removable and refillable. Removable and refillable. Yeah. And that powers the Truma, the Truma furnace and hot water? Yeah, the combi. Um, it'll also power the, um, if you decide to get the stove top, it'll be the stove top. Now the refrigerator, it's a compression refrigerator. So, oh, I'm gonna miss this. almost missed a turn. <laughs> I don't have but, navigation because we're using my phone for the filming, so... Uh, so there we go, there's uh, a start. Go. Okay, so we're going to get in the other lane here and uh, maybe kind of film coming in. Yeah, I got and it. And then we'll... Ooh, there's a big line. Uh, yeah, that's where the drive through though. I don't think we clear is, that. Uh, nice turning radius. It's... It is tighter, I would say, for sure. Um, let's see if we go around this and get the parking lot. Yeah, you could. You could. So we're coming in here. And that's the beauty of a small rig like this, is that you can... Look at that. Okay. I think it does turn differently. I think you're right. It's, it, it's tighter because of the short wheelbase. It's wheel tighter base. and, yeah. By that, by that um, go. You can do two spots. In front of this Ford or behind that. So let's forward. have you... Um, I'll step out. So here we are. Um, Scott's bringing around for a parking spot. That thing's tiny. All right, so we're going to go and park next to that Toyota over there. Look at that. Say it again. It's a Wingham Oasi 540. We're an Italian-based company. We're just shooting some YouTube videos. <laughs> Thank you. Is it new? Brand new to the market, yes. So are you like repping him? Is that I'm it? with the company, yes. And is he the company? No, he's... he's You're the driver. Yes. I'm a YouTube guy. You're a YouTube guy? <laughs> yeah. Would you mind being on camera? I love YouTube. <laughs> I know. This nice lady. I'm a realtor. <laughs> we're in Florida. And I'm just, I just saw this van come around. Tell me about this van. It's, um, so it's an Italian import. Yeah. It's by a company called Wingham. Wingham. Okay. What makes it really unique, it's yes. a full motorhome experience. Okay. But the thing is only 17 feet and 8 inches long. So does it expand? I mean, where do you sleep? You want to see? Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, right. this is... Uh, this is what I love, Un I unscripted. I love it. Okay. And you can see it fits. It's actually it's smaller oh than than the actual that. parking spot, right? It's like a caravan. Yeah, ex exactly. Caravan. That's what they call them in Europe, right? Yeah. Uh, from Europe. Uh -oh, you have to unlock it. Unlock. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> oh, so it's, it's by Fiat. So out in Europe, yes, it's based on a Fiat chassis, but for the U.S. market, it'll be on a Promaster. Awesome. Thank you. So I'm just gonna wait for Scott to open that door. I'm Scott, by the way. Martin. Martin, nice to meet you. Oh, you love your Tampa? bracelets. Are you from Tampa? Uh, no, ma'am. Technically, West Palm Beach area, okay. but I <laughs> I prefer the Gulf side much better. Yeah. Than these. I know, right? It's just a totally different vibe. Oh my gosh. Um, Are you repping these then, or? Um, so I'm just kind of doing some content for my channel. So yeah. I live in my van full time. This is mm -hmm. I just ended third year. It's a uh, ProMaster Winnebago Travado, if you know what that is. Yeah. So it's a Winnebago is uh, American. Yeah, American. Yeah. This comes out of. Italy, it's pretty amazing. Are you ready for the bed? Yeah, yeah, right, you ready? Yeah, no, I, I've been rolling. Don't worry. Uh, okay. Just put the step down. Uh, I don't. Will this go down? Oh yeah. So, Sorry, so, my, so, my buyers are over there. I'm just waving. <laughs> Sorry. So, do I'm gonna so do go it? Ahead and yeah, follow her. All right. Look at this. Oh, it's totally Italian. Look at this. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, what was your name again, Miss? 
My name is Martine Jackson. Martine, Martine Jackson, realtor. I Focus. am a realtor here in uh, the Tampa Bay area for Align Right Realty, and I am visiting this wonderful place today. Look at this, totally Italian inside. So, oh, are you lovely. ready? For, so, where do you think the bed is? I think it's here. <laughs> You're kind of right, but if it was a snake, it would bite you. The bed is above you. Get out! So it right? pulls out. Yep. So, so Royal, give you a little oh here. So, so stand back just a little bit. Turn over here. Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Is that the coolest thing? Oh my gosh, that is awesome. So two people sleep up there pretty easy, right? Yeah. So abracadabra, there it goes. Yeah, yeah just... the bathroom is spectacular. Very cool. Hey, Eileen. <laughs> I oh, thought no, the Tampa show was over. I know, right? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Eileen. <laughs> this is great. This is <laughs> yeah, great. It's cool, right? Eileen, yeah. come and check this out. So this is this is a um, like a caravan from Italy. This is it's a new model. Go and have a look inside. We were this just at the uh, Florida Super Show. Look at this. So and we're just I doing a little YouTube video. Is. This is These great. These are my um, my friends from Las Vegas. They're looking at at Florida. Yes. This goes for about 145 this grand. This is a new model, and it's a Italian. Which is um, sounds like a lot of money, and it is. But uh, everything. Yeah. So, um, and a van like this, like what I live in full time, is about 140 thousand. As you can see, we are in a parking spot, and it's shorter than the parking spot. Look at that. We were parked next to a Toyota 4Runner, which has left. Look at this. We are just inconspicuous. Look, we're smaller than the parking spot. Look. The line starts right over there. Materials, yeah. It ends right back here. And we're smack in the middle of it. Success here at the Starbucks. We're gonna. It's got a huge line, so we're gonna uh, pass on the coffee. Uh, but hey, we got to meet some folks and surprise the heck out of them on <laughs> the Wing and Oasis. And it sits fits in a parking spot, smaller size than a car. Okay, we're gonna put the uh, the step up. Yeah, we're, we're fighting the landscapers right now. Yeah, and we'll close the door. And let's go, next stop. So I just want to share with you, so again, that's a really tight spot. This rig is 17 feet, eight inches long, about the same size as a Honda Odyssey. Now my van is 21 feet. Could I have made that turn? Could I have parked in that spot? The answer is yes, but this thing, minus those few feet, make a huge difference. I was really impressed. Um, and the tight wheelbase, just, it just pivots, is the word I'll use, um, versus turning. Uh, now I've gotten really good at driving my van, uh, so I can get into some pretty tight spots. Um, Uh-oh, here we go through the yellow light. Hold on, everybody. But I gotta say that that would have been a little more harrowing in my van, just again, because of those extra couple of feet on the back. Um, but it was kind of fun to uh, meet the realtor, uh, Martine, and that was uh, completely unplanned, but totally welcome. So. Hey, if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large, all about the camper van travel experience. Really appreciate you watching the video. Let's continue on. The electrical, maybe a little bit. So bit the, on the, uh, there's solar on the top and there's there lithium, panel. right? Yeah, so you have a 120 solar panel standard up top and um, the energy bank on, under the seats is lithium hybrid lead acid system. So when I was mentioning to people at the show was, especially the Floridians that are interested in the van, uh, number one question was, oh, AC, AC, AC. Um, you stayed in the van overnight, the AC wasn't running, and you were still particularly cool and fresh. Same thing goes for the AC. You keep the AC running due to the perfect insulation, you won't have to run it for, that's a safety feature, that beeping. Um, you won't have to run it for that long. You keep running for an hour, hour and a half, the shell keeps you nice and cool, turn the AC off, and as long as you don't open anything, mm. you're pretty much hanging out in a cooler. Yeah, I gotta say on, um, so drivability, I would give it a thumb up. The acceleration, which is a diesel thing, um, I, I, you know, my van, Miss Lily, um, if I punch it, she does move, even though she's a pretty heavy girl. Um, 
but the steering is, is I would say more sharp and the maneuverability back there you saw in the Starbucks was I would say considerably better and my van um, you couldn't get a typical B plus into that spot there's no way um, and that was a tight parking spot you think we planned that on purpose I don't know. Roy let's talk about how do people typically um, deal with the cassette toilet that's kind of common in the van space but what's uh, Oasis um, is there anything different particularly or is it kind of a similar system? No, I mean, the similar system that's on this rig currently, you know, five cassette system, there are some decomposing tablets that come with it and they're Dometic, so you can either order them through Wingham or just order them through Dometic. And um, yeah, it's just a five gallon cassette system. What I have been recommending people is just use it for waste, any paper product, any paper product, um, just have it in a separate trash can so you can last a little longer. Mm. That's but yeah, idea. just go to any restroom in America, dump it in the, into the toilet, flush, and then keep on going. All right, so this rig is, is diesel. The ProMaster that you'd be buying here in the U.S. is going to be gasoline. Um, this is the fuel situation right here, so we'll just... Uh, mine's not locked, so there it is. Very gentle on the scratch. We'll put a few bucks worth of uh, diesel in. Diesel is not going to be an option. Uh, I'm glad mine's gasoline. You will like your gasoline ProMaster because gasoline here is uh, 337 and diesel is 479. So we're saving two bucks. <laughs> I mean, if you're in California, diesel is yeah. like six bucks. So one gallon, that's five dollar. Let's put a few in here. Yeah, I'm crazy. So again, really easy to fuel. Really easy to maneuver. I definitely feel the difference in the wheelbase here. It is way sharper to turn, I meaning it's easier. It just, it pivots. It's really pretty amazing, mm -hmm. the shorter wheelbase. So let's pull into a parking spot here and then I can show you the, the compartment. Oh, the password thing? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, camper van. Camper van. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's cool, man. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, but okay. easy to drive. Thank you. <laughs> Maneuverability again, just like, it's never enough examples of that. Uh, Roy's going to show us this pass through bin, which is pretty cool. Um, Roy, go. Yeah, so uh, real quick, just from the outside, electronically locked security system. It's a little wet from Dude. last night's rain. Yeah, right. Um, but you That's see, fun. you have two levels, lower level, mid-level. So what I was mentioning in the prior video is what I would do when I get my rig is just put like a little wood divider right here. Oh, yeah. Put the cans and the waters up here. Right, right. And then if you are snowed in or if it's pouring or snowing, you don't want to get your shoes dirty, open the hatch, and I'll show you that when I go inside. Okay. So if you're kind of a uh, RVer that's concerned about safety, um, you can have groceries delivered here. They close the door, and then you can access it from the inside. Uh, so that's kind of a cool feature to be able to do that. So, hello. So I'm right here. There he is. Just removing one cushion and this wooden cover and you have easy access to this compartment. So amazing. Yeah, so if Scott would, let's say, a delivery boy or pizza or something <laughs> in the middle of the woods, I can just, oh, go through the side, get in here, you're good to go. Or again, you mentioned dirty you know, shoes or something Dirty like shoes, that. yeah. It just keeps, yeah. keeps the dirt out of the, out of the rig, and this is the way to roll. Thank you, Roy, for showing oh, You're welcome. <laughs> and then when you're done, you just close. And you're ready to go. So just a uh, big thanks to Roy for helping us with this uh, drive and park situation. This It's so much easier with the cameraman. Yeah, I know. It's pretty I, cool. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. For sure. So again, the whole point of this uh, Wingham video series is to help you understand the full motorhome experience in a micro RV that's 17 feet, 8 inches, smaller than a Travato, but you get everything you need in a big motorhome 
yeah. in a really small package. For sure. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, we got a lot more videos coming up about this. Uh, they're going to be on What's Up Wednesday um, over the next couple of months. Yeah. We just want to give you as much information as possible. No, it makes sense. You. Yeah, for sure. Um, where can they go for an email or for um, a website? You can website? shoot us an email at us at wingham.com. And our website is just wingham.com. Just make sure you either click the US tab or it'll redirect you to the US site automatically, depending okay. on your IP address. Unless you um, know Italian pretty well. Yeah, then you should be fine. So, <laughs> um, so thanks again for watching. Let us know what you think about this. Um, we're just really, uh, I'm smitten with this rig. No, it's, uh, it's, it's awesome. It's pretty awesome. So until we see you soon, wish you a journey on and peace be with you. How do you say a goodbye in Italian? Uh, arrivederci, arrivederci or ciao. Ciao, <laughs> bella. <laughs> see you later. Have a good one. With fond memories, we say goodbye to the Wingham Oasis 540. That was a lot of fun. I hope you join us for the uh, entire series of videos we did with that. It's funny, after driving that rig for just a few miles, I can feel the difference in the steering in particular and the acceleration, I think is better on mine, but this, the um, that tight wheel base and the um, pivoting of it is vastly different. Um, so thank you, uh, thank you, Wingham USA team, for your trust and confidence as we share the dream of travel in a small van or micro RV imported from Italy. Wingham Oasis 540.